Hello there, my name is Alma Faye and welcome to episode number three of Sally Face. <gasps> is this real? Am I dreaming? White room. Eh, nien, dnif wood. Absolutely. Other is odd place. Sith for caps not must. A tube lie. The only one who lived. Uh, something is dead now. What should I do? Err. Huh? Run. 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 What? What the hell? Oh my god! What am I supposed to do? What? I don't, I don't know what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Is there even something coming after me? <laughs> yes! 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 Okay! 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 Go away! I don't know! I don't know what I'm supposed to do! I don't know! <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Enter? Yes? There used to be a door here. I mean, I didn't complete the puzzle, so I don't know. Okay, this started out... Interesting? He's being interviewed. Is it true that you have chosen to forgo legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've got nothing to hide. I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? That's not what he said, bro. Can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witness or evidence of any such person. No comment. I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? What? That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And what about Charlie Manfield, Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now, except that I did what I thought was right at the time. It's the police's job to find the killer, not the little kid, bro. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of Bologna? What the hell? I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just... Well, it's a long story. Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Okay, but maybe he doesn't want to speak, bitch. What the fuck? Ugh. Same. Alright. The Bologna eh, in in incident. The Bologna incident. Episode 3. Whoa. Mr. Dude. Oh. What if I were more than just a doodle? I... I don't know. Hello, are you okay? Hello, are you okay? Okay, have a nice day, yes. Hello. What's wrong with your friend? He saw the truth... He, 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 the truth and the truth destroyed his soul. Ah, now please leave us alone. Your head will frighten the children. Can you tell me where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? But a round head like you will never make it. Oh my god! Discrimination, bro! Discrimination! Just because my head is round doesn't mean we're that different. Oh my god! Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I never... How would you feel if I asked you? What happened to your weirdly shaped head? I didn't mean to offend, I was... Oh, go bother someone else. Yeah, honestly, you don't just ask people... What the fuck? What the fuck? People? This is not... It's a baby! Hello? Are you the platypus? What the fuck? What? Who's the platypus? The platypus? Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. Ever since, our people are drawn without limbs. What sort of beast could do that? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you'll need to seek out the oracle beyond the death fields. I d Listen, I'm gonna be honest, I don't care. What? 
This is Sally's notebook, so this is like a story he made or something like that. Oh, it's the monster. Talk. Are you the great beast? Well, fuck you too, friend! <laughs> okay! The great beast hasn't been seen for over a hundred years. Do you know where the prophet is? Just take the letter down, it's always a letter down. A letter... Okay, let's... <gasps> oh no, these ones are all dead. Oh no, it's a cemetery, bro. Talk. Hello? Is this the field of death? Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. Bro, I'm kind of, I'm quite confused right now. Blue. Ooh! <gasps> it's a witch! Are you the prophet? I am called many names by the sticks. The sticks. What's the great hole? Eons ago, we created a great hole in the papery fabric of this world. A hole that contains all of the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? What is the truth worth to you? It's nothing. I don't care. Everything. <gasps> Was? Somebody please tell me what the fuck is going on. It's a hole, actually. What? He learned the truth and it was too much and his head exploded and now he's insane. Sal, wake up. <gasps> class? We're, we're in class? Jeez, huh? That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry, I, I must have those dozed off. I already finished the test. I know, dear. You wasted it as well. Very good. Just try to stay awake for the reminder of class, okay? Who's that guy looking at us? He looks like a little bitch. Look at his face. Who the fuck? Hey, freak. Bruh. Nobody likes a goody two shoes, Sally face. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, bitch. I wasn't talking to you. If you took that stick out of your ass, you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even make a friend or two. Aha! Fuck off! I have more friends than you'll ever have! You kiss your daddy with that tongue? I'm sure he... <gasps> what the hell, asshole? Are you alright, Sal? I'm fine. Come on, let's report that jerk. No, don't worry about it. Sal, you're bleeding! I'm okay, really. <laughs> Here, let's use my bandana. Wait, hold on. I, you can't, I'm... There, looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry, you can hardly see it. She's kind of crossing personal bond boundaries. I, I don't know. Ah, thanks, Ash, but it was okay, apparently. She probably has seen his face before, I guess. Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? That prick! I'll kill him! Larry, I'm fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Who knows what his home life is like? He's got a lot of pent-up rage. There must be a reason. I'm pretty sure he's just angry that they switched Bologna sandwich day. Seriously, I've never seen anyone love the crappiest lunch day so much. It's like a prison meal, and he doesn't even like pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhumane. Inhuman. Inhuman. <laughs> <gasps> Maybe he's an alien. Uh, that's all we need. Okay, is that enough? Can I play? I just wanna play the game! Psst, Larry, I'll help you kill Travis when Sally isn't looking. I heard that. What? The next day, Bologna Day. Bologna. Bologna Day. Knockfell High School. Uh huh. Very, very bricky. Very. Bricks, very brick. <laughs> Ew, but why though? Ah, uh, what the fuck? Does that bologna smell funny to you guys? I heard it's made from goat meat. Didn't a bunch of kids call in sick the day after Bologna Day last week too? Uh, hey, you guys, don't ruin lunch for me, please. It's the only good part of the day. 
Group huddle? I'm in. Me too. Count me in. Have fun. I'm gonna stay here with Chug. Oh my god, these are too many voices. I can't keep up with this. <gasps> we need to find out if there's anything wrong with this Bologna. Maybe there was a batch of bad beef. Or it's expired or something. Or bad goats. I'm telling you, dude. That shit is funky. Doesn't taste like no beef to me. The product is most likely a blend of low-cost meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken, and or turkey. Todd, man, you're making my stomach hurt turn. This is like the hot dog incident all over again. Ugh, I hope not. I'd like to take our sandwiches to the science lab and see if I can find any bacteria or signs of expiration. However, it would be helpful to know what the exact ingredients are. Um, this is very interesting, but like, how is this telling me anything about the story? About how his mom died, or about the ghosts, or about anything really? Like, what? Okay, Ash, you go with Todd and help him in the lab. Larry and I will try to get more information on the Bologna. Sounds like a plan. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I play actually? Oh my god, yes, I'm playing. God dang. Okay, let's talk with the... Why does it look like that? Even if it did look like that... Hi Kim, we wanted to ask about the Bologna. Could you tell us where the school buys it from? You kids, go sit back to chairs now. No more question. Do you think we could just see the package or... No packages for you. Just butts in chairs. Go on. Well, that was a failure. She always seems... She? 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 She always seems so unhappy. I wonder why she stays here. It's like the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Kim is poisoning the lunches? Why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at her files? While you do that, I'll check in with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Okay, let's go to the hall. Let me drink some water because... Cafeteria... Oh, advanced mathematics. Just some of my textbooks. Todd suggested... <gasps> Look at this picture! A picture of us from Halloween. That was so fun. Okay. Uh-huh. Mr. what? I don't know. Oh, look! Paper clipper. Okay. 202. There's a class in there right now. Okay. Courtyard. Oh, look, it's a ball. It has a face. Ball. Okay. Am I gonna use this for something? For sure. The teachers are in there eating lunch. Okay. I can't see them. They must be hiding. Who? The birds. Okay. Talent show. Missing. Missing person. Missing, missing, missing. Oh my god. Oh, this is Todd's. Wait. Is this Todd? Todd and his boyfriend, Neil. They're always so happy when they're together. That makes me happy too. Huh. Ash makes these stuffed dolls. Of course she does. Uh, oh, oh, hey, that's me. I didn't know she had this in her locker. <laughs> Ash's Polaroid camera. This could come in handy. I'm sure she won't mind if I borrow it. Okay, take her camera, I guess. Any luck? The, teacher, the teachers are all in the lounge. I'm waiting for the right moment to sneak by. Um... Maybe if I make a loud enough noise. I'm gonna break something with the ball. I'm gonna break something with the ball. Throw. Huh? What was that? I don't know. It sounded like it come. It came from the uh, the how uh, the uh. Did you get it, dude? The file is missing, bro. What? How can that be? No one else could have went in there without you seeing them. Eh, just jerking your chain, man. I got the picture, bro. Amateur nature photographer. No, it's Kim as elephantiasis. It is not contagious and she is sensitive to it. Make sure the other teachers know. Tell Kim to stop feeding the birds. So she likes the birds. What do I do? Do I, do I bring a bird to her? Hum? Do I... Oh. Oh. Oh, there he is. It's a little bird. What? Photo of bird. Bro, I don't know. I don't know. This is just very... Okay. I got something for you. What? This? A photograph of 
Birdy, you take picture, huh? I'm gonna give Russian accent from now on. Yeah, I took it for you. Just a small thanks for the hard work you do. You're a sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. Makes a lot, a lot more sense, bro. No, okay. I need. So I was wondering, can you tell me where the school buys the bologna from? Why are you so interested in bologna for? Oh well, uh, my friends and I really like it and want to know where we can get some. It's local, made by Mirce's Packerton, 100% beef. She brings from farm once a week. Here, I give you some extra meats for bringing Kim nice photograph. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kim. Okay, science lab. Everyone's here? Yes. Got more bologna. Perfect! Kim said that it's made by Mrs. Packerton. Whoa, no way, dude. She lives in the apartments. How can she make her own lunch meat? Oh yeah, I forgot she lives there. I hardly ever see her. She tends to return at late hours. I believe that she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as you may think, so it's fairly common. However, when Mrs. Packerton is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very peculiar. So what do we do now? Should we ask Packerton about this odd side business or of ours? Or are you boys going to do your whole detective thing? Uh, I don't know, what do you think, Sal? Let's do a little snooping before going to Packerton. I don't like the way this is playing out. Agreed. Good call, Sally. Alright, why don't you and Larry go check out Mrs. Packerton, Packerton's classroom while the teachers are on break? Todd and I will finish testing this Bologna. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we'll be back. Why are we testing the Bologna? Yes. Some kids got sick. This has happened in, in, in a school I went to, okay? Like the kids getting sick from the meat. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I need you to be my lookout. Wait by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it. Okay. Damn, she keeps her desk drawer locked. Combo lock? Shit, dude. How the hell are we gonna get that thing open? Let me take a look at it. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, look at the top. Look at the pie numbers. 3, 1, 4, 1. Jesus. It was honestly kind of easy. Hold on. There's a hidden compartment. <gasps> Drugs. What is it? I'm not sure. She's a witch! She's a witch! She's a witch! A bunch of papers with random notes and symbols scribbled on them. Looks like they're written in another language. I can't make any sense of it. Why would she have this in school? That's my question. Why does she have a bird skull here? That's kind of creepy. A strange metal object similar to Jim's puzzle box. This could be important. Wait! Uh, what the heck? There's another one of these metal boxes like the... Shit, what? Is it happening again? Yeah, I... Sally's passed out? Oh my god. <gasps> Are you sure? You could just be dehydrated. You didn't eat anything for lunch either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But, never mind. Let's go check in with Todd and Ashley. What? What's going on? Hey guys, we found some sketchy things in Packerton's desk. How are the tests coming? We're not getting any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree there is something peculiar going on here. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. Damn, I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help out after that though. Later that day. Okay, let's meet up in Todd's room once everyone's ready. Yes, perfect. Cool. Okay. Is the woman still alive? The old lady? She is still alive. Oh, hello, dear Sally. Why is it on top? There are no happy endings in real life, Sally. We all get the same terrible ending, death. You can't know that for sure, Rose. And even if that were true, doesn't that make life even more pre precious? Good point, Cell. Good point. It's our one chance to shine as brightly as we can before the long night claims us. That's why I try to live the best life I can, just in case it's the only one I get. Not for you, my boy. Huh? 
Oh, never mind, child. I admire your optimistic view of life. It's something I had lost long ago, I'm afraid. What? What? What did she say? Take care of yourself, Sally. Wait. Not for me. Not for Sally. Huh? Huh? She knows something. Okay, let's see the, the witch. The Mrs. Gibson. What do you want, Sal? She's still with the same outfit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. I may be old, but I can take care of myself. Thank you very much. Ugh. I mean, I know you're a strong, capable woman, but just in case, it's all. Ugh. What do you think I am? Some helpless weak? I mean, well, thanks, Sal, but I'm fine on my own. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Oh, he's now selling, he's now selling the tea, actually. Wait, Larry, Larry and Sally made that sign for Mr. Edison. Oh my god, Sally's such a good kid, what the hell? Let me just check if my apartment is still the same. Is Gizmo watching television? No. He has a toy now. I don't know if he had before. Sally, I had to go back into work again tonight. I'll be home late. There are some leftovers in the fridge if you don't eat with Lisa and Larry. I'm sorry I haven't been available much lately. Maybe we can go do something this weekend. Love that. What the hell, bro? Oops, sorry Gizmo, I didn't realize you were in here. And I thought my cat had human traits. What the hell is this? He's wearing a cap to, for his hair. Oh, what's that? There's something under the bed. It's an old photo of mom. I thought dad threw them all away. Hi, mom. I miss you. I hope you're at peace. There's a handwritten note on the back. Henry, you are my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we're going to have a little boy. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. Love you always, Diane. <laughs> I don't understand this game. I just saw my cat taking a bath like a human, and uh, which was kind of funny, but now there's a, a, a thing of mom and... The... Dad's computer is on, but I don't know his password. Maybe I could figure it out. Oh. <gasps> okay, okay. How? How can I figure it out? I don't see any numbers. I see a 713, but it wouldn't make sense. Oh, let me see if this place is still looking... Yes, it's still like this. They still haven't taken care of this. Jesus. <laughs> it's Todd's parents. Oh. Are you ready? Ready. I've tapped into the security cameras and we'll be able to loop footage of the empty hallway until you two get back. Be careful. Wait, what are we gonna do? I forgot. I completely forgot what we were supposed to do. Oh, we're going to Mrs. Uh, the teacher's apartment. That's right. Got it. Oh my god. Nice. We should be quick before she gets back. Oh no. Dude, it smells like ass in here. Ass and old feet. <laughs> Good lord, we'd better make this a short visit. I can't take that stench for too long. Check out that painting. What if Beckerton really does just work on a farm? I don't know. The painting gives me a weird feeling, like a cold chill. Whoa, yeah, I feel it too. Let's look around. Radio. It's a neat old radio, but it won't turn on. It must be broken. What is this? There's a big thing of diapers. Maybe she has someone... Uh... F. Oh my god. Anything strange in the fridge? No. Looks like normal groceries and stuff, but there's a padlock on the freezer. What? Can't you get it open? Don't tell me it's human meat. Please don't tell me it's human, it's human meat. Oh my god. No, calm down. Calm down. That's too much. That's too much. No, no. Can't you get it open? Yeah, just give me a minute. And there's another freezer. No, please don't. Okay. It's filled with rolls of bologna, along with some frozen vegetables and other various food. Nothing out of place, really. <laughs> Got it. Okay. I'm scared. Please. Oh. All right, let's open it up. 
Okay, it's a goat head. I knew it. it at least it's not a human he head. It is goats. I fucking called that shit, man. Also, gross. I feel like it can't be that simple. Let's see if we can get into those bedrooms. Ooh, let me check the bathroom too. Ew, what the fuck? She lives like this? When's the last time she cleaned this bathroom? Why does that look radioactive? You, what the fuck? She doesn't live here. She's. This is just... I don't know, bro. There's no way. Bedroom one, it's locked and there's some weird mechanism on the doorknob. <laughs> Clock. Mm, the clock hands are stuck at 3.14. If I try to move them, they just go right back. <gasps> okay, so we need this to open the door. This is a bizarre lock, dude. Okay, so we need to put a clock at a certain time. Okay, where is it written? I don't see numbers anywhere. Uh, do I have something I can use? No? <gasps> what the fuck? When did this happen? What the fuck? It's the goat, bro. Uh, hi, little buddy. Ba, 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 ba. What in the hell was that? A ghost goat, apparently. That probably shouldn't be surprising to me at this point, but I definitely did not see that coming. Okay. 1047 1047 Oh, <gasps> it's turned on. Bruh. Wait. Wait, what? 10 1047. That's the goat's number. And now I can't change the time. Okay. Okay, so that was correct. What? But what is this? Is it the same? 1047? No, it's not the same. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We got this, we got this. I don't know if we got this. Another number. Okay, the goat's number was 1047 and that unlocked the clock. Okay. I need another number. What time? I don't know. Let me check the goat. There was something suspicious about the goat. Okay? Okay. Ba. One. Baba two Ba Baba One two one two One two one two I don't listen I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know But this one was the goat so this one might be the goat as well one two one two twelve 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 Oh that unlocked the first bathroom let's check it bedroom bathroom bedroom Jesus, oh my god. There's someone in here. Oh no. This is the star being. This is the star being. Hello? <laughs> uh, Mr. Packerton, hello? I don't think he hears you. You're right, looks like he's some... In, like, looks like he's in some kind of vegetat. Uh, Man, this is fucked. And definitely where that rancid smell is coming from, too. Yuck. Let's get a quick look around and then get out of here. She's gonna find you. I, I have, I really have a feeling. All of these papers are talking about the death of Mr. Packerton. If he's dead, then who's laying in the bed? Mr. Packerton? Are you Mr. Packerton? Blink if you can hear me. Hello? Oh no. That's a psycho bitch. That bitch is fucking dangerous, bro. And she looked like such a nice lady. Jesus fucking Christ. Young child, please help me. Did Mrs. Packerton did do this to you? We were in love once, or so I thought. Yes, this is her doing. Please, you must help me escape this endless agony. What's in the Bologna? I'm afraid I don't know much about that. This room is my prison, my tomb of infinite sorrow. I can never leave this state. How can I help you? He wants me to turn off the machine. You must unplug this horrid machine. But isn't that... wouldn't that... It will end my suffering. It will free me of this torment. Please, child, I beg of you. You must hurry before she returns. Pull the plug. Pull the plug? <laughs> what do we do? Yes.
Oh my god. I hope that was the right thing to do. Jesus Christ. You didn't have a choice, man. The poor guy was in so much pain. Yeah, I guess so. I just... Oh shit, she's back. Of course she is. What the fuck? Quick, behind the dresser. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. If we don't make it out alive, I... I love you, dude. I love you too, man. You're the best friend I've ever had, you know? Same to you, little bud. Ashley! Ashley, you scared the crap out of us. I can't see that. I thought you had to watch Benjamin. My dad came home early, so I rode over here straight away. Sorry for giving you guys a scare. I... Is that Mr. Packerton? Is he... It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Damn. There's still one room we haven't looked in yet. We need to get in there before we leave. Oh, check this out. While we were hiding, I found this key right under the dresser. <gasps> okay. We're in. Fuck no. What in the... Oh my god. This can't be good. This can't be good. No, this cannot be good. Freezer. Another damn combo lock. Oh my fucking god. 4142. Okay. 4142. It's not. Okay. 1413. 1 4 1 3. Of course. Oh, it is. I was gonna say, of course it's gonna be harder than that. We... We're in way over our heads here. We need to get help. There are no bones. What? There aren't any bones in here. It's all just... Meat. Dude, no, come on. Oh my fucking god. Ashley's right, we should get help. Don't you see? There's no one that can help us. Every time something happens here, it's covered up. The cult look. Charlie, Mrs. Sanderson, what cult? Who knows what else this place is as hidden. We can't trust the cops and we can't tell our parents because they'll want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we've told them about. Then what do we do? I don't think... I'll ever look at Bologna the same again. Oh. Oh. Well? Well what? You asked why I don't eat Bologna and I've told you why. Of all the fantastical stories you like to spin, you're really not going to tell us what happened next. Why bother? You probably don't believe what I've said up until now anyways, and the story just gets more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably going to cut it up to make me sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of the story and we'll air it in its entirety without cuts, I promise you. I'll tell you what, you finish the Bologna story and I'll tell you about Todd. Hey guys, come look at this. <gasps> There's a safe, okay. There's some kind of trash shoot hiding behind that painting. That's weird. This building doesn't have trash chutes. It doesn't look like it goes outside. There's no light coming in. Be careful, Ash. I wonder where it leads. She's gonna fall. Yeah, no shit. She fell down. What the fuck? No, 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 no. Ash! Ash! Are you okay, Ash? Oh no, oh no, this can't be happening. Please let her be okay. We have to find where this leads to. How are we? What are we? I'm gonna shimmy down. It's the only way. Dude, no! You're not thinking straight. What if you fall too? Or land on her? If she's still alive, that could kill her. Brother. Okay, yeah, you're right. Let's think. I know where it goes. What? How? Never mind. Just go get Todd and meet me in the basement. Bro, what the hell is happening? What's going on, Sal? What did you see? Is Ashley alright? Everything is going to be okay. Come help me with this. 
It's behind the the storage, the lost and found, right? Yes, okay. Is this what you saw in your vision cell? It doesn't work exactly like that. It's more of a feeling of heightened intuition. Wait, one of those keys from Packerton's looked like the old apartment keys. Try it. What? Oh yeah, I almost forgot about those. Perfect. Give me a minute to look around. Okay. Carpet. The carpet is turned up here. It looks like um what? Guys, come check this out. Wait, but it came from above. Maybe it goes like Dude, there must be an undocumented sub-basement level. It's definitely not in any of the blueprints that I've seen. Perhaps an old dirt cellar or something of the like. I had no idea this was there. The third key from Mrs. Packerton's fits in this door. Ash must be down there. It's the only place that that chute could lead to. Oh my fucking god. Let's go. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. Incredible! This architecture must date back multiple centuries at least. Centuries of blood and demon worship. This is freaky as hell. Yeah, well, we need to get through that gate somehow. There appears to be... Okay, okay, shut the fuck up. Examine. An old leather bound book. There's a symbol on the cover of a bird within a circle. The text is written in another language, so I can't read it. Blood is splattered on some of the pages and the book is burned across the bottom edges. Touching this makes me feel lightheaded as if it's producing a strange energy. Oh, oh my god. What is that? What the fuck? What the fuck? Light bulb. Oh, do I need to put a light bulb in? Okay. Oh, there's already a light bulb there. Talk. It's a bit strange that this place has light bulbs. They must have been installed later on. Though, this green bulb in particular is fascinating. I've never seen a bulb quite like this. Indubitably. How do you turn it on? That's another mystery. There are no visible switches. I've looked all around this area. Huh. Okay, so we have the... We need to... Wait, what? Of course. Of course, bro. Chest. It's another empty letter. That's all that was inside. Huh? There should be spirits here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Did I do it? Dude, those little obelisk thingies just got bigger. Oh, I got it. Easy, 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 easy. Okay. Pull. Oh my god. I don't know. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was quick. Okay. Now I need to press this and now the door opens. Or do I need someone to stay there and press it? Yes, I do. Dude. Okay, one of the them is gonna have to stay here. Okay, okay, I get it. Todd, can you stand this in this? Sure, I can do that. Ready? No, but as she's is in there somewhere, so let's go. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose anyone else down here. Anyone else? Oh. Looks like there are two ways. Oh no, we better split up. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Okay, let's split up, I guess. There's nothing else I can do. Am I playing with him? Why do these things all always happen to me? I'm playing with him now! Oh my god! He has an old card, he has a lighter and a rock. Crap, this place is like a maze. Oh my god. <gasps> oh shit! Oh, big shit, big poopy. Oh no, oh no, I'm lost. I'm lost already. Already, I shouldn't have. I'm just following the cult sounds.
Okay. Oh my god, brother. Brother. Oh my god. Okay, let's see what it says. Gotta figure out how to open this stupid gate. Huh. Yes, I do. Okay, this one? Oh. Wait. Huh. Interesting. Can I do something with this? No. Oh! Oh! Okay. I did it. Somehow. Now I'm playing with Sally and now I'm gonna have a bunch of... A bunch of little games again. Okay, I'm gonna take the music. Because I can't hear anything. Silence. Oh, that was it. Okay, bros. Examine? An old book with a wooden cover. There's a solid black circle carved into the front that's made from a different type of wood. I don't care. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Yes! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Oh, it's Larry! Hey, good timing! I think we have to pull these levers at the same time to open the gate. We must have walked around in a big circle. The room behind that gate is the center of this place. It's the last room! Ash has to be back there. She has to. Yes, let's just pull this. What? Do I need this? No. Oh my god. Hmm. I think this weird hex thing from Mrs. Packerton's desk is some kind of key. Ah. Oh. Wait, does this mean that he's dead? Larry's dad was involved with a cult too? Whoa. Huh. Interesting. Holy shit balls. Uh-huh, I agree. Holy shit balls indeed. Ew. <gasps> oh my god. Ash! Ash, are you okay? Ash? Is she... She's still breathing. Come on. Help me get her up. Huh? She's awake. What? What's going on? Where are we? Dude, you fell down the stupid trash chute. I thought we lost you for good. I'm so glad we found you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Just a little fuzzy and sore. No broken bones. Well, none of mine at least. Thanks for coming for me. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. So what are we going to do about all of this? Mrs. Packerton has killed a lot of people and the Bologna... Ugh. We can't just ignore this. It could be possible that she's gotten herself wrapped up in the occult as well. Of course, bro. Even if the congregation is long since dissolved, she could have stumbled upon this door just as we have. Or maybe she's the last remaining member, trying to carry out whatever their plans were on their own, on her own. You don't think she's trying to bring the red-eyed demon back, do you? Hopefully not, but we'll be prepared if she does. I know going to the local police isn't an option. Maybe we should call the state police or the FBI or something. At least this time, our parents can't deny what's happening. They'll help us once we show them what's below this building and what Packerton has been doing. Ash is right. We should get our parents involved this time. Maybe we should just kill her. What? Mrs. Packerton, maybe we should kill her. She's old and it shouldn't be that hard. We can't just kill someone, Larry. Then we'd be no better than her. Normally, I would be against harming others, but in this case, Larry might be right. Todd, Larry, seriously, you guys? Think about all of these strange, unexplainable occurrences that happened in Edison Apartments and in Knockfell in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Mrs. Packerton is acting alone. She must be getting outside help. It would explain the police cover-ups of Charlie and the Holmes family murderers. 
There's no telling how far this corruption reaches. Goddamn. I guess that makes sense. Sal, you were saying something similar early today, too. I don't know, maybe this does fall on us to take care of. Maybe. No. The biggest worries normal teenagers have are about petty things like being popular and having nice hair. Not us, though. Oh my god, we're so special. We just have to worry about saving the world, I guess. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Um. Damn. So what happened? We decided to sleep on it. It was nearly morning anyway, and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher? What did you decide? Did you go to the police? Police. Didn't have to. Turns out Peckerton got into a car accident on the way home. That same night, she and the other driver were killed on impact. Well, that's quite convenient. You could look it up for yourself if you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day. Beloved Knockfell High teacher killed by drunk driver. Of course you won't find anything about the dead bodies in your apartment or how she was feeding the students human flesh. That was all covered up. I see. I don't care if you don't believe me, it's the truth. And you said you would air the full story. Don't worry, Sal. It will be aired in full. I always keep my word and I think the people will be very interest interested in what you have to say. Everyone is watching you now. You spoke with a great fondness about your friend, Ashley. I understand that you two were very close. You even considered her one of your best friends, along with Larry Johnson and Todd Morrison. Is that true? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Yes. Have you seen this? Oh my god, what happened to Ashley? Please. The Sally Face Killer trial today for a mass murderer, including entire family. Sources say that the prosecutor will call Ashley Campbell to testify against the Sally Face Killer. She's a longtime friend of Sally Face and they were said to be very close in their high school years. Against? What? Against? What about Todd? You said you'd tell me about Todd. Oh right, of course. We shot a segment on Morrison yesterday. He's still in the hospital after what happened that night. What night? He's still out of it, unresponsive, still not talking, so we couldn't have a conversation with him. We mostly spoke with his doctor. I'm sorry, Sal. Apparently, Morrison hasn't shown any signs of improvement. In fact, his condition has been getting worse. They say that the damage he suffered that night is irreversible. He doesn't know fantasy from reality. And all he wants is to die. When he is denied the release of death, he becomes extremely violent. I... I need to help him somehow. I need to help him. Even the doctors and trained professionals haven't been able to help Todd. How do you suppose that you'll be able to? Because I know the truth. What's the truth? I know what really happened. WHAT REALLY HAPPENED?! I know what's wrong with Todd. Todd was possessed? Wait, the, 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 the red-eye spirit lives inside Todd? Oh my god. <sighs> okay, well that's going to be it for this episode. Wait, and I didn't even see like the last floor, you know, where the ghosts live. I didn't... I didn't... Uh, yeah. And I want to get inside Dad's computer. This one... One... No! Oh, fucking hell. Can he even catch me? Yes, he can catch me, okay. L forget about it. Forget about it. 504 A Ouija board Since when? Who? Oh my god Who? It's locked again Wait, it feels more peaceful in the building since we got rid of that demon Yes, but Yes 
Hi, Sally Face. Hey, Megan. Have you seen my daddy anywhere? No, uh, sorry, I still haven't seen him. Oh, maybe he's passed on to a better place. I guess that's not so bad. And everybody here isn't so scared now, too. Even mommy started talking to me a little. That's great. I'm glad she's finally speaking to you. Me too. <laughs> I hope that daddy is happy wherever he is. I'm sure that he is. Oh, I forgot mommy told me she would play hide and seek. I gotta go. I'll see you later, Sally boy. Sally boy. <laughs> okay, Megan, I'll see you later. Have fun. Megan's necklace. Even though she can't wear it now, she's happy to have it close by. Okay. Okay, let's check 501, where there was that bird cage. You know? Oh, wait, 502? Huh? Wait. Is it 502? Oh, it is 502, right? This one is locked. No, it's not locked. Okay, 501. There's an old newspaper clipping nailed to the wall. It's about a boy who shouldn't be alive, who survived an accident that killed both of his parents. The front page of an old news... Father and son go missing. It says they vanished without trace. Okay. Woman and her child abducted by aliens. This has to be one of these joke papers. What? It's a letter with my name on it. Oh my god. And I missed all of this. It's empty. Am I missing something? What? I wonder if this is related to the skull in Mrs. Beckerton's desk. Oh my god. It probably is. Why is that green stuff coming out of... Okay, the password should be in his computer. What is the most important thing to him? <sighs> the note from mom. Diane. Diane? I don't... Like, why would the note be here? Just to see... I don't know. It wouldn't be that strange. But it's numbers. Is it like... D, 4, you know? Alphabet, 2, numbers. Yes, please. I'm... Oh my god, come on. 4, 9, 1, 14, 5. It is. What did I do? It won't turn back on. I hope it's not fried. Wait. Did... What? What? All of that for this? All of that for this? I'm a little bit disappointed, I must admit. Okay, let's... Oh, no. There's another letter. Where did this come from? It's another empty letter with my name on it. What? Okay, I'm just gonna explore a little bit more and that's gonna be it. Robert's place. Oh. Oh! Oh my god. Who's this? Robert. Yo, what up, little bud? Not much, just a typical day. That bad, huh? How's business going? Business is great. What is that you actually do? I sell crack cocaine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you, bud. When my granddad passed, he left everything to me. Whoa, was he a millionaire or something? Nah. But it was enough money to start up a little business I had brewing in the old noggin. I tripled that money within a year. From there, the company just kept growing. Now I barely do anything. Just show up once in a while to check in and do meetings and shit. What's with the safe? Oh, I don't trust banks with my money or any big corporations really. Don't you own a big corporation? Well, yeah, but that's different. He owns a big corp... Why do you live here? I mean, you could afford to live anywhere. Why live in this cheap apartment room? I got all I need right here. It's just extra weight. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. See ya. No suspicious activity here? No? Okay. Oh? <gasps> Hello, Sal. Hey, Mrs. Sanderson. How are you? <laughs> I try to keep myself busy. Otherwise, I'll lose my mind. I fear that I'll never be able to leave these dreadful walls. You still haven't seen any bright light or anything? Unfortunately, no. I don't mean to sound ungrateful though, babe. Babe? 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 It's 
Babe! Yes, right here, talking to me. Okay, sure, yes, okay, I understand, I will. What? Is she she's speaking on the phone? I meant to give something to you. Who are you talking to? I apologize, sweetheart. I've got it now. What? What? Another letter! Bro! I passed all of this. It's an envelope with my name on it. Empty. Okay, I have three envelopes at this point. Empty envelopes. David's place. Oh my god. I really passed all of this. Hey, Shower Face, what are you up to today? Hey, David, not much. Just got home from school. How have you and Sarah been? You know, it's just a couple of spurs. As happy as you can be, right, babe? Babe! Ah, okay, okay. This was for Sarah. I'm sorry. I would. Okay. Oh, hun, don't make me blush in front of our friend. Oh. Ah, Sarah is, that, is the doll. Sarah is the doll. Maybe he buys the crack cocaine from the other guy, you know? I keep hearing creepy noises. Like what kind of noises? You know, creepy noises. Like scratching and moaning and stuff. Maybe it's just some mice in the walls or the building creaking. It's an old building. I bet it's nothing. You want to hang out with me and the other guys? No, no. It's okay. Thanks, though. I can tell you guys are up to something again. Last time I came with, I couldn't speak for a week. Oh. Oh no, sus. That's sus. That's very sus. Hello, is anyone home? Oh, I could have sworn ever someone lived here. Another. Another letter with my name on it. Mail. Henry Fisher, Henry Fisher, Henry Fisher, junk, junk, junk. Oh, hey, Sally Fisher, there's a letter for me. No return address on it. It's an empty envelope. What the heck? Another one. I got like five at this point, like five envelopes. Can I go out? No. Oh, talk. Hi, Sal. How are you today? I'm okay. Have you been feeling? Didn't the doctor say to take it easy for a while? Oh, I'm fine, sweetie. Don't you worry about me. Besides, we've got problems with the plumbing that need my attention. What's wrong with the plumbing? There's some kind of goop clogging up our pipes. It's weird. Oh, so me seeing green uh, in places is not weird. Okay. No idea where the stuff comes from, but once I get all the pipes cleaned out, we should be... the. Goo? What? Yeah, what, what, is, what is this goo from? It's not from the... My dad and I might be going out to see a movie or something. Maybe you and Larry could come along. I bet it'd be good for you to get out of the house for a night. That sounds wonderful. Thank you for the invitation. How is Henry doing, by the way? He's a sweetheart, your father. I hope he's not overworking himself. I know my dad will be happy to have you along, too. Hmm, a blank canvas. Bro, really? There we go. Flowers. Looks like Lisa got a bouquet of flowers from someone. There's a note. It says, get well soon. Wishing you the best, Henry. Henry. My father. Uh, Larry, I think we're actually brothers now. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot more puzzles that I could have done. Like the first one. The first puzzle, you know? But, uh, I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this episode. This one was the craziest one. This one? I'm, I'm shook! I'm uh, shook. Well, bye-bye, my lovely people. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go now, and I'll see you next time for the next episode. Or probably something different before. And, uh... Bye.